All right. Capcom is releasing a mini arcade uh, console, and it's packed with Mega Man and Street Fighter games. Now, the thi- here, here's the thing that bothers me. These things <laughs> are cool and all, um, <laughs> but they're very pricey. So this one is selling for around two hundred ten dollars. Oof! So <laughs> that's I pricey, mean, it's, you right? Know, cool. Like what the hell? Well, let's look at the games here because the games are actually really good. Yeah, but two hundred ten dollars <laughs> good? No, 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 no. You got. Mega Man the Power Battle, Mega Man 2 Power Fighters, Mega Man X, Mega Man Soccer, Mega Man and Bass, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. So, so wait a second, I just want to make sure, isn't it Mega Man and Bass? I thought it was Bass the entire time. I, I mean, it's bass? spelled Bass, so I just call it Bass. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it is Mega Man Base, but it looks like Bass, is... doesn't it? <laughs> well, Bass is spelled the same way because it's a musical term. Oh, uh, yeah. True. Um, yeah, so... But I, I was just asking because I thought... I, 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 I've always known it as Bass. I apologize. Okay. My bad. Mega Man and Bass. No, no, no. I thought it was... No, I could be wrong. <laughs> okay. Well, if you know what it's pronounced, uh, leave a comment below and, and let, yeah, let us know. No. Correct. Um, Correct. So, yeah, that's a steep price, man. That's a steep price. Um, but damn it, I'm a sucker for those little things, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is Japan only release, so. That, that didn't stop you from getting the Sega Game Gear Mini. Yeah. Which, by the way, doesn't hold a candle to the uh, Super Mario that Bros. Thing? Game & Watch. That thing is awesome. All right. Have you been playing it at all? Oh, yeah. I play it almost every day. That's awesome. That's really yeah. cool. I still have yet to open it. Actually, I'm going to just show it right now. Not even opened. <laughs> still uh, still in its packaging. Open it, man. It's, just, it's, so, en- it's so pretty. Enjoy it. Enjoy I, I, it. I'm enjoying it just the way it looks. All right. So next up, this is something we talked about. Uh, I'm going to have to pause this because I'm not allowed to play. Um, I'm just, I'm going to link this video for everyone, okay? Okay. Um, so Modern Vintage Gamer uh, explains how good the Xbox Series S is at emulating almost every retro game console on the retro arch. All right. So this is a great video. I recommend um, everyone to watch it. And uh, so, yeah, how did it change your opinion of the Xbox? Well, I mean, I was already in. Uh, I was already into the Xbox no matter what. I was going to get the Xbox Series X mm-hmm. because I have so many Xbox games. Um, and and arguably, it is the more powerful console. Though there have been recent reports that multi-platform games have been playing better on the PlayStation Five. Yes, even though the Xbox Series X. Uh, on paper is the stronger console. Yeah. Uh, so, but that being said, I've always enjoyed playing third-party games on my Xbox, and I also enjoy the controller better too. Yeah. Because of the staggered uh, joysticks. Yeah. Anyways, uh, this is just you know makes it even more cool. Yeah, it does, especially, right? Especially since it's able to play more PlayStation old-school PlayStation games than the PlayStation Five is capable of. Yes. It's so funny. It has more backwards com- compatibility. With PlayStation than the PlayStation Five, <laughs> that is insane. It's insane. Um, so, uh, d- d- but you, how about you? Does it change your opinion at all? Especially since you actually had an Xbox One and then you sold it. Yes. Yeah, it does. Um, I didn't know it had the dev mode. Um, so for those of you that aren't aware, it has two modes. It has its standard mode, which runs um, the Xbox system. And then it has a dev mode where you can load um, UWP apps on. And there's a UWP version of RetroArch. What is UWP? Uh, Universal Windows Program, I believe. 
don't qu- I could be wrong, but <laughs> let us know in the comments. Um, <laughs> So basically, what he did was he loaded uh, the UWP version of RetroArch, and then he loaded um, N64, GameCube, Dreamcast, and they all ran beautifully. PlayStation, and soon it's going to have PlayStation Two games. So the, yeah, man, the, I think it's the awesome. The real ball kicker is going to be when PlayStation Three is on there. If PlayStation Three is capable of running on there. That's going to be impressive. Oh, dude. Freaking. I just want to pack away my PlayStation 3, man. It's, <laughs> it's just so big. I mean, it's smaller than the PS5, though. The PlayStation but it is a big is boy. It is a beast. It is a beast. Um, so, yeah, check out that video. Um, heck, it might just change your mind if you're trying to get a, a, a new console. So, 